Great. Okay, so I'm Eric Bernhardson. I'm the CEO and the founder of a company called Modal. We're based here in New York. I've been working on this for a few years now. Like Matt said, I have a background on Spotify, where I built a music recommendation system, among other things. I've done a lot of AI. I was a CTO at a company called Better for many years too. Different story, but started Modal a number of years ago because I wanted to build better infrastructure for data, AI, and machine learning. And in particular, it's like, like what I wanted to build for is like what I think of as like high code. Like so. This will be a little bit, maybe a different presentation uh, because I'll do some live coding to show you uh, what you can do with modal. You can think of modal kind of like two different things. One is um, SDK in Python, where you write functions that call each other and you define the environment and you set up GPUs, et cetera. And then we run all of it for, it, for you in our cloud. So we maintain a very big pool of thousands of GPUs across many different clouds. Uh, we manage all the scaling, we manage all the infrastructure for you, so you don't have to think about provisioning, capacity management, et cetera. And then we charge you in a fully serverless manner. So what that means is we charge you only for the time the container is actually running, which means you know you only pay for you know effectively utilization, right? You don't pay for idle GPUs. Customers pick model for a few different reasons. Really, the core thing is developer experience. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to get that point across in a, in a couple minutes. Uh, I already mentioned usage-based pricing. We have a lot of GPUs. If you need 100 GPUs or even 1,000 GPUs, you can usually get that within minutes or even seconds sometimes. Uh, and you don't have to think about infrastructure. So if you want to scale up and run a lot of stuff, a pretty big scale, soon as an example of a company that, that, that runs things at a very large scale uh, using Modal. Uh, they do AI-generated music, pretty cool. And, and uh, Substack is also using Modal. A bunch of other companies. Uh, Ramp, actually, is using A lot of other applications, but I would say, like, in general, like, we've seen most traction in, like, Gen AI inference. Kind of actually less than, like, LMs. LMs is very API-driven. We focus more on people who want to run their own code. Uh, so it tends to be more, like, custom models for image, audio, video, uh, music, etc. Uh, we also see a fair amount of uh, use cases in, in biotech. Uh, LM fine tuning and, and all kinds of other stuff. So it's a pretty wide range. It's, I mean, it's a very general purpose platform. You can you can run almost anything in Modal. Uh, okay, so here's a very simple Modal app, and and hopefully you know actually like a question: How many of you are like writing code actively in Python? Like so. Okay, so this is you know hopefully the majority is like this is somewhat familiar syntax. So this is a little function doesn't do a whole lot, and then we call it basically like there's a function here that's called uh, that returns a square of a number, prints some stuff standard out. And then we call it with 42. And so if you run this thing in the terminal like this, basically what happens is we take this function, we stick it in a container, we execute that container in the cloud, and as it's executing in the cloud, it streams back. And so when I'm running this, I'm not, I'm not actually running code locally. I'm actually running, I mean, a little bit of code locally, but, but like the actual container runs in the cloud. And, and so the idea with modal is like you can effectively run code in the cloud, but in a way it almost feels like it's, it's local because it's so fast. And, and that includes something ba such as, you know, so, so basic as like, like let's say we want to edit the code and rerun it. Like I can just run it, right? I don't have to like build a Docker container and push that to, you know, AWS and like rerun it and like download logs, whatever. Like, you know, it actually prints the, here you can see it prints the whatever I, I, I edited. It. Um, and this extends to other things. So let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's say we want to run this on H100. Uh, so we're not going to use this H100, but, but we're going to, run it on a container that has access to an H100. Uh, maybe it takes a little longer because, you know, but we have a big pool of H100. So effectively now we, we ran something that has access to, to an H100 uh, and we can even try to use this H100 if we want to because Modal lets you uh, install any sort of dependencies or any, you can effectively, you, you can build any image really. Like you, you can give us a Docker file, we can build that for you or you can just in, in Python defining code, say I want to install, start with the slim and then pip install torch image equals image and now we can import torch here torch dot cuda dot is available i think that's the that's the function does anyone know let's see if this runs uh now we're gonna run um, we're gonna build this image actually this uh might take a few seconds because the torch is actually i think a gigabyte large um so I don't know if anyone has like a good joke about GPUs while we're waiting, but uh, this is going to run, and we can build images very quickly in the cloud. Uh, we then cache these images, so you don't have to uh, rebuild it. So if I run this the second time, like this whole you know part where it's outputting a bunch of yellow text is not going to have to run. And I'll show that in a second what it looks like. Um, 
And, uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, you can give us a Docker file. You can also start with an image that exists in, in um, Docker Hub. Uh, you can install drivers. You can install binary packages, whatever, right? So um, we, we basically let you do anything with these images. So, so and, and very large images are, can, you can be built and can be used very efficiently in modal. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second, but we, we built our own file system, uh, among other things, in order to store these images very efficiently and also boot these images very fast. I can maybe show you something else. Sorry about that. Let's install NumPy instead. NumPy is much smaller. Uh, so the idea is you can, yeah, again, like we'll install NumPy, we'll just build this and install it, um, and hopefully this will take a few seconds at most. Here's see. Six seconds, much faster, thank you. All right, now we're running this container, we're in importing NumPy in it, and if you run it again, we're not gonna reinstall NumPy. Uh, we're running this, you know, just booting up immediately and running this. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna run it again. Uh, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's actually do, Moodle lets you basically do sort of batch fan out parallelism. So let's say, you, you know, we have this function and computes the square of a number, not super interesting, but you can imagine doing something more compute intensive here. Let's say we wanna batch over a bunch of inputs. So we wanna map over uh, 10,000 inputs. And, and remember, we're running these on um, H100s. So, and uh, in fact, let's, uh, let's slow it down a little bit just to, and let's run this. Now we're gonna fan out and parallelize over 10,000 inputs and we're gonna execute those on H100s. Uh, and so, you know, we're already firing up a bunch of H100 containers. We're already running 22, 25 containers. Uh, we're processing a bunch of these outputs. Uh, so a very big, a very common use case for modal is to do sort of like data prep or like batch processing uh, and fan out and run like very compute intensive operations, video transcoding or FFTs or or things like that over very large data sets using you know large pool of uh, large pool of, of GPUs or other things. Running seventy H one hundreds right now. Um, this will cost us about a few hundred bucks an hour. So I'll kill this. Um, you can do a lot of other stuff with modal. Uh, so just to give you one idea. You can take these things and you can deploy them. And you know if if you do that now you can actually sorry not function. We can look them up from any Python process. So we can take this function and look it up from this Python process, and then we can call this. And it's not doing a whole lot. It's just sleeping for a second and um, returning the square of a number. Uh, but this, uh, for instance, it, you, you can basically like uh, deploy these functions and use that for uh, inference. So that's a very common use case. You can have this you know, complex models. By the way, if this is a little abstract, I mean, like, you know, just to show you, like, what people can, you know, we, we built this little demo the other day just to give you an idea of, like, things you can run a modal. So here's, like, maybe more visual, like, thing, you know, that maybe, here's basically, like, stable diffusion, uh, uh, SDXL turbo running a modal. Uh, so the idea, like, and this is just a few hundred lines of code. You, you, this is basically, like, a Python uh, shell around this, this GPU model. Yeah, we built our own, in order to do this, we built our own container runtime, we built our own scheduler, we built our own file system, built our own container. We're, we're basically spending a lot of time in the infra layer at Modal, and which is something most people don't like, but we love that stuff. Uh, we're obsessed with it. We, we spent basically the last three years like optimizing container cold start and um, across different regions. And I'm not gonna go into like deep details, but Basically, if you like look at what Docker does, it's incredibly inefficient. There's a lot of ways to optimize it, which we did. We eventually got rid of Docker. We eventually threw out Kubernetes and started over and built all of that stuff ourselves. Um, uh, there's all these tricks you can do, basically building, you know, using Fuse or using what's called a content address file system in order to optimize image retrieval and storage. We maintained a very large pool. So uh, this is just one example. Uh, we, we run AWS, we run GCP, we run Oracle, and a bunch of alternative clouds. We run in, I think, 40, 50 different regions, many different GPU types. We solve a mixed integer programming problem every few seconds or every minute or so to, to basically like size our pool up and down uh, in order to, to match uh, uh, supply and demand because we have you know, a lot of different users uh, running a lot of different things and so we need to fulfill their capacity demands. Um, yeah, pip install modal and you get you know, $30 uh, free credits to play around with it. Uh, very easy to get started if you're familiar with Python. You can deploy things and run GPUs in the cloud. Uh, if you're a startup, we have credits programs, so you can get 10,000 or sometimes even 25,000 credits. 
Cool, awesome. Seven seconds left. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs>